you just for one second. Absolutely. I was just bragging about you. Uh oh. And I was just saying how wonderful you are, but you actually like sing. What? To our kids. And I was wondering if you would mind just singing a little bit. Of, like you're talking about book care. Right. But you also help our kids understand book care, but you do it in a nice, fun, creative way. Would you mind sharing with us a little bit? So you put the marker in, you take the book out. What? what? I remember this. You do the booky looky just to see what it's about. And if you really like it and you want to take it home, you go and check it out. <laughs> you can see they're just like they're I engaged. Love it. They're engaged. I mean, they're excited mm -hmm. over a hokey pokey song about books. About shelving a book. Yes. Exactly. So all of these are our learner profile attributes. So <sighs> being an Ivy campus, yes. we want our kids to exhibit these characteristics yes. and that makes up a learner profile. So it's incorporating that language right. into everything that we do and it gives our kids an opportunity to learn the language. Yes. And then Ms. Schwang has done an amazing <clears throat> job with helping our staff marry our um, second step curriculum. Yes. And then with our um, IB social learner emotional. profile yes. attributes yes. and then linking that to those social emotional tools and supports yes. in the classroom. Yeah, it's really cool to see how IB yes. covers so it much. It does, it does. Yeah. And so if we are actually teaching like our social emotional second step with that fidelity, we're hitting all yes. of these. Yes. And so like going back to even like the campus central idea for the year of like curiosity and connection and part energy to reflect and transform, it's taken us a little bit deeper. Yes. Right, it's beyond the connection. It's now how can we use these connections to change. What are y'all doing with these right now? One of the biggest things we've been doing is our interactions with each other. Mm -hmm. See, we talked about how it's hard to be honest, right? It's hard to be honest about ourselves, hard to be honest about others. It is hard. But it strengthens our relationships. That's right. What happens when you're kind? What's the influence mm -hmm. when you're kind? Yeah, saying thank you. Please. So those are ways that we can be kind, right? By saying thank you. How do you think that's gonna impact the relationship. Yes. Like they're included. Oh, I love that word. I love that. So interactions influence relationships. And an example you gave is being kind can make people feel included. You need to write that down. That That's is awesome. really huge. We also talked about our physical environment. We were talking a lot about the ice storm. When I thought about interactions, I was thinking people but you were thinking interactions with non-living things like the weather, right? And how interactions with anything can impact our relationships. I love that, that's so great. And the snow also made me happy because my dad and me got to make a snowman. See, that's really cool. So the snow brought you some really cool interactions with other family members too. How long did your snowman stay alive for? Well, we just put them in the freezer. Oh, you did? Do you still have them? No. Oh, man. That's a bummer. That's kind of fun that you saved them for a while, though. At first, we were like, hey, we love snow. Let's go play in it. And then when, you know, a few days later, and we're shoveling snow to boil water to drink and flush toilets, we weren't that excited about it. Yeah. Our relationship so, changed with changed, it, right? They changed, right? So um, it's really neat to explore our relationship with different things. So when I think about taking care of my environment and I think of the words inquiry launches change, did anything happen to you that made you launch some change? When I, when I ride on the bus home or like at or to school, I, I always look out the window and I see trash and I'm like, I have to fix this. And that's exactly why I made the environmental club. Oh my goodness, so you saw a need by looking out the window, riding home on the bus, and you saw all this trash. And it made you sad. And angry. And angry. Oh my gosh, and I love that you're able to use your words and name those, those big feelings, right? And so instead of being angry and mad or sad about it, you did what? I made the environmental club and I fixed it. The, you made the environmental club and you fixed it. So talk to me about this. You're only in third grade. 
How are you starting and taking action like that as a third grader? I'm pretty sure I started it in first grade, actually. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're mind blowing. First started grade? in first grade, yeah. You were gonna be president one day. <laughs> Mark my word. I want y'all to think about this. You see a video camera. I want you to realize that your impact is far greater than just this classroom. You're impacting more kids and more families outside of this learning environment. Y'all are doing an awesome job, okay? Keep it up. Thank you. Nice. Yeah.